my friends welcome back to 200 3d problems in free cat series today it's time to work on exercise 32 in the previous video i talked about connect tool join object and connect object and this problem looks like we could do that trial and error on that tool and i'm excited about it to see actually how far we can take this connect object tool and how how beneficial is that compared to boolean operation i want to make the image of transparent hopefully that will give us some advantage later and i want to keep that on xy plane for now all right and then i want to take the center of the image and adjust that with one of the centers from the three holes as you can see from the plan there are three cylinders with three holes in the middle in a triangular fashion so my plan is to use this primitive created tube and follow the dimensions from the bottom view which is not bottom view it's a front view and draw one of these three cylinders with holes in the middle so we got our first one and this one i want to replicate that three times total three times so two more replication on this one the tube 001 which is our second tube i want to transform that to our next location but i want to do that precisely so this transformation will be actually using the values from placement and position. Now we want to move it to this location, which is, as you can see from this little axis cross, which is in the x direction. On x direction, the distance is 200, right? The second one, I want to move it up there, so which is on the x, it is 100, and in y direction, which is another 100. So we got them set up in there. So I'm going to say that's one third job done. The next phase, I want to draw a sketch on XY plane. And on this one, I want to take help from what we already built in the model building process. Now let's turn on the view section, the section view. Now what I want to do is I want to draw the triangle, just an overall triangle and use this tangential constraint constraint tangent and make these lines tangential to the circles that we already built from the cylinder because it has a horizontal constraint we had to do it one time only but that's okay so we got that built now i want to make that sketch as our base sketch right and that will go up by 20. All right, 20, we got that one. Now let's give it a try. I want to select all these three cylinders and the extrude, which is the base actually, and hit connect object. See, that was pretty simple where we had to do three or four Boolean operations. We did it with one click and it was pretty easy. Now I want to focus on this hole part on the cylindrical hole that is lying flat and I can take this image on XY2 I'm gonna say XZ plane right and see now I want to transform it to where it makes more sense there it's making more sense right there all right so our axis cross is here which is the center and from there i want to draw a sketch i can probably draw it on this face or i can keep it there and then still work on it so let me show how i want to keep it there and then still work on it i want to draw another sketch on xz plane and from here the sketch will be here. so let me 
draw the outline first the center comes first then comes the half circle got that now comes the polyline to make it right and then i'm gonna say i want to build the fillet with this one right now so that way i don't have to work with the fillet tool later on maybe i should turn on the view cross section okay and draw a straight line and draw endpoint dream point arc all right so this line will be horizontal we know that this fillet will be tangential to the horizontal line we know that let me take the tangent tool and make it tangential here as well so we got everything ready these two first of all will be five millimeter radius oh we have to make it tangential right here all right and then this is vertical this will have to be vertical as well okay the diameter is 30 so let me bring it back this diameter is 30 which is radius 15 and this diameter is radius 20 now two or three degrees of freedom left first of all this length this length is 100 we can uh, see it from the drawing this height is 20 now in the previous video we talked about best practices and we can also make this parametric so let's make that practice right now i want to make that relevant to the extrude of this height of this extrude so how can we find that name let's keep it open right go to the model and open it up so that is extrude and in extrude the length 20 millimeter is length forward now select this point and this point take the vertical constraint oh didn't work okay now hit this fx button and i want to say extrude is what we are shooting for extrude right dot and the constraints is i think it was length forward so length forward okay so we got that one from the formula pretty simple now this point and this point the difference is given as 29.8 we can say 29.8 and that constrains everything i just wanted to show you how we can use the formula to actually provide values there so that's a constraint fully constrained button now look at this picture this total length is 70 but we have this sketch right at this location and the center that's where the sketch is the outer perimeter is 30 millimeter away so we'll have to bring this sketch when we are extruding that we'll have to bring that sketch 30 millimeter towards us and rest of them so rest of them would be 40 behind our sketch so there is that we got that whole thing from one sketch now let me go ahead and make them union so there is our fusion and i want to refine that as true all right looks like that's our object i want to put that on xy plane and show it so this is our object it was pretty simple i just wanted to show you how i can put the formula in it uh, it didn't definitely needed it on this object but maybe in future we will be using that so it's better to build up the habit from now i hope you enjoyed this process i will See you in exercise 33. Thank you for watching.